Hey there, my name is PinkJJS. I'm here today to show you how you can use Steam Console Client to download Windows only games from Steam through a workaround. Now normally when you try to download a Windows only game on Steam if you're on a Mac, it gives you a notification saying your platform is not supported and it won't even let you get the files. So this is a way to get those files to see if you can use another workaround like Wine or Play on Mac, virtual drive applications like that to see if the game will actually still run on your computer. Um, if you like this video and you want to check me out, I do stream nightly on twitch.tv slash pink underscore JJS, or you can follow me at any of the links you see down below there um, or on any of the social medias you see. Uh, so the first things you need to know, 64-bit um, apps will run on Catalina, but 32-bit apps will not. So if you're running Catalina 10.15, unfortunately, 32-bit games and applications are not going to work for you. Um, so that's just an unfortunate thing that Apple did to us. They uh, stopped support for 32-bit applications on Catalina for whatever reason they deemed. Um, also, you need to make sure through a quick Google search or something that uh, games will run through Wine or Play on Mac. Some games will, like Among Us will, but some games will not. Games like Dead by Daylight and others may not run through Wine for whatever reason. So a quick Google search might net you a result that lets you know if it will even work once you get the files. Uh, this is a tutorial just to get the files on your computer, not on how to run them. So. Um, the first things we need to know, we're going to do a tutorial on Among Us today. So you need to do a quick Google search for Among Us's Steam ID number. Um, so you type in Among Us Steam and App ID. And what that does is gives you a six digit number um, that identifies Among Us in Steam's system. Uh, we also need to get, if we're going to get the beta file, which we'll do later, you need to make sure you know the name of the beta file you wish to download. So what you do is you right click your game in Steam and go to properties. Then go to the betas tab and in this drop down menu you'll see the name of any beta files offered to you. Uh, you'll just write those names down. You don't click them. You don't need to do anything. Some beta files may require a password, so you'll need to make sure you have that password on hand if you wish to download that beta file through the Steam console client. So you'll need the app ID number, and if you're doing the beta file, you'll need the name of the beta and potentially the password if it has one. So make sure you get that information before you do anything in terminal. Also, before you do anything in terminal, you need to make sure that the normal Steam client is fully closed out. It cannot be open at the same time as you do this because we're doing a workaround and it just, um, we're changing the platform type in Steam console client, which can kind of mess with things. So um, I'm also using two sources and I want to cite those now. We're using the developer community wiki on valvesoftware.com to get some of these commands that we're about to use. And there was also a really helpful guide by a Reddit user by the name of Hello Craziness in the Among Us subreddit. So all props to them. I am essentially taking this information and putting it in kind of a follow along uh, video format. So the first thing we need to do is have terminal open. And again, we have our app ID number. Uh, the first thing we do is to create the directory where the Steam console client will go. So we're gonna use this box here. We're gonna type this stuff into terminal. So MKDIR, we're gonna do all the proper capitalization and spacing. That's very important. Make sure you're typing it in exactly as you see it, okay? Once we do that, you'll notice that it now says Steam here in my little terminal prompt. It has added that little bit in there. So that's good. That's what we want because that's where we want these files to go. So this is the next thing we're going to run here. You can find this exact command in the Valve Software Developer Community Wiki that I am going to link in the video description. So you can literally just copy and paste it from there if you'd like, which I'm going to do personally because it's a little bit of a handful to um, say and type out loud, you know? So we're just gonna put that in there and hit enter. And now it has downloaded and extracted the files for the Steam console client into that directory. Now that directory is here. It's in Mac HD, 
your users folder, your username folder, and in the folder that we just created named Steam. That Steam folder is not typically there. We just created it for this purpose. So now those files exist. They're on our computer and we're ready to actually run them through the terminal client. So the first thing we need to do is we're installing it manually. That's what we're going to do in a manual installation here. It just requires these two simple commands. So again, we're making sure that we are in the correct directory with this command. Which we're just going to quickly type in there with proper capitalization and everything. So that first line of text there is what we're putting in. Hit enter. And now we're good. Now we're going to put in this second line of text, which is really simple. And there you have it. Hit enter. And what that's doing is it is downloading the update for the file. And once it has downloaded that update, it's going to open the file and get it going. So we'll know that it's open because it says loading Steam API OK and now says Steam here. So that means we are now inside the Steam console client. It's open. It's ready to go. We're ready to start doing our thing here. So the first step from here is to log in to the Steam account that has the game files that we need. So we'd log in. We type log in there and then whatever the username, it's your username. So you just put in your username and once you put in your username, you hit enter. Now I've already logged in multiple times, so it's not asking for my password, but you'll need to log in with a password into your account for those files. Some accounts also may require two factor authentication. So you may need that information on hand as well if it asks for it. So keep that in mind. You need the username, you need the password, and you'll need the ability to authenticate that account as well. Okay. So we are good. We are logged in as the account holder and we are ready to get those files. But before we do so, uh, we need to actually change the platform from Mac to Windows because we're in Steam console client right now. That doesn't mean it recognize it as Windows off the bat. So we need to make sure that it's going to recognize it as Windows platform. So we're going to take this command here and we're going to put that into our Steam console client terminal inside of terminal. Make sure you're typing it in exactly as you see it. Correct capitalization and everything. So we've taken the exact same thing we have over here and put it right into our terminal window. And now you can see it did put quotes around that. That means we're good. Now the Steam console client thinks we are operating from Windows. So it's going to allow us to download Windows only files onto the computer. So moving on from there, we are ready to essentially get the game files. But before we do that, uh, I actually like to set the directory. So this is the thing to get the files, but we don't want to do that yet. We want to set the directory where those files are going to go so we can find them really easily and use them later. Um, so that way they don't get lost in the abyss of your computer's internal workings. So this is the command you see here to decide where those files are going to be put. So force underscore install. Oh, had some typos, D-I-R, and then it says path. So what that means is you need to put the path where you want those files to go. So what I'm going to do is use these quick, easy folders here that I set up and I'm going to drag it right there. Uh, you can see I can just take that extra space off the end and now those files are going to go in that directory. You can see right now that these two folders are empty, oh, except for this little Steam apps thing. We're just going to get rid of that. We don't need that. So you can see they're fully empty, ready to go. Nothing is in them. And we just set DL2 as the directory for this first set of files to go. So the first set of files, we're going to use this here to get those files. Now app update is the um, command you want to run. 945360 again is the Steam app ID number for the game that I want. You can do any game as long as you have the app ID number but you just have to make sure you have the correct number for the correct game. Then once you've got that game number in, you're going to type in a validate. And once you do that, you'll see here it's going through some stuff and it says success app fully installed. Now, just as we wanted, 
those files have appeared in the DL2 folder. So these are the normal game files. You'll see just the game number and validate. Now, if we wanna get the beta, it requires a slight extra step. So the first thing we wanna do, we don't want the beta files to go in the same folder as the normal files. So we're gonna go ahead and reset that directory to this DL3 folder. So force underscore install underscore DIR and then space. Oh, and then we're gonna just pop that right in there and take away that extra space at the end. And you can see we're good. DL3 is our new directory. And you can see the Steam app things just popped in there because that's where it wants to download next. So now we're ready to download those beta files. So again, earlier we got the name of that beta file that we want to download um, and we're ready to go. Now the Among Us file does not require a password. This is kind of the formula for that command. So you'll take out these brackets um, and then replace things like password or beta name with the actual password and the actual beta name. Okay, so here's what we do. App underscore update, the app ID number, and then taking out the brackets, we do dash beta. And then beta name it says, it's the public beta is the name of the Among Us beta. So public dash beta. Then there's nothing else for us to do right now um, because Among Us does not require a password or anything. After that, we just type in again, validate. And it's doing the same thing. Update state, update state, and eventually success, app fully installed. And there are those game files for the beta. They just popped right in there. Now, let's go ahead and do a quick little thing. Say we wanna try to do the beta files and they have a password. I'm gonna show you that here in terminal but it's essentially just using this formula and we're gonna make up some arbitrary random values for beta password and the password. So here, we'll create uh, what DL4 and we'll pretend like we're getting those files here. So first thing, make sure we're going to the proper directory right there. And then we're going to do the same information, app underscore update, the app ID number for the game. And then if we're getting the beta, we'll do dash beta, public dash beta. And then let's just make up a password. So we do dash beta password, all one word. And then let's say the password is something just random, just a random string of numbers and letters um, like so. Okay, and then at the end of that, we would type validate. Now we're not gonna hit enter on this because it's not gonna do anything because this beta does not require a password. But once you have the beta password command in there and whatever the actual password is, type validate, hit enter, and then those new files would show up here, the password protect beta files. And then you're good to go. So now you would use these files to attempt to run the game through something like Wine or Play on Mac. I have a video and I'll put that in the description for how to use Play on Mac to get Among Us to run on Catalina. That will be in the video description. Um, so check that out if you wanna continue this process. I'm gonna stop this one here um, because this was just to get the files on the computer. I hope this was helpful to you. And again, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much. Mwah. Take care. Bye-bye.